Um, so first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for a couple days of good work. Good job. Good job. Great, thank you so much for for uh, uh, taking um, taking the plunge with us here in uh, in Oxnard. This has been a great start. Um, just want to recap a little what we did and, and just uh, again uh, remind us what's coming up in the future. So uh, we had a great day yesterday. We went, we, we came together, we uh, we said hello. Uh, both our colleagues here and our, our remote colleagues. We did um, some broad scale introduction to um, this whole idea of out of crime mitigation. We ran through some definitions, ran through some overall, uh, a, a little bit about the, the history of our, our uh, fund funding uh, for this effort, all that good stuff. Then we, we took a dive in and spent most of our time yesterday talking about these themes, these overall themes. So we talked about this, this structure of a, of a framework overall, um, uh, these, these components and, and themes uh, of, uh, that we're going to be assessing or, or looking at in the context of out of kind, and then eventually get down to the metric level of the things we actually uh, measure. Uh, spend a lot of time after uh, a lot of brainstorming, etc. We've come up with these uh, five um, uh, broad themes, overarching themes of structure, ecosystem structure, ecosystem function, ecosystem services of a landscape context and temporal trajectory. We did a first, very, very quick first pass of trying to pull together our, our thinking about those. Uh, we had some more brainstorming uh, over uh, dinner, et cetera, yesterday. And then today we've um, come back in and, and taken a look at a couple things, one of which is that overall arching framework. Um, we've not decided on anything, but we sort of began to get a little bit of a, a sense of what some of us are thinking about, uh, how that framework work might emerge, or some dimensions of that framework we want to make sure that we, ad we address or at least think about. Uh, and then we um, uh, talked a little bit about uh, the, this idea of, of uh, what is uh, on-site versus off-site. Um, I think that was helpful. Um, I guess you guys have convinced me that it shouldn't be a three-tier, it should be a two-tier. It's just uh, ne <laughs> on-site slash near, and then off, oh, and then that's it. So I, I will drop my, my attempt to have a third guess. Uh, and then, um, uh, yeah, and, and, and so then we, we um, uh, spent some more time to refine this, talking a little bit about our next steps. Everybody expressed how busy everyone is, which we all know, and that's great, and the worry about how much time is this really gonna take? I thought we came down for this two-day workshop thing. Um, so, so it's great. So, um, so as a reminder, we have a couple dates, so if you, if you have, don't have those in your calendar, please get those in your calendar. Um, and again, we will uh, be adding everybody's names to these invites, but just as a reminder, we have um, our June 20th uh, uh, touch base Zoom where we'll, we'll sort of more formally uh, launch the, the work this summer. You all are the consultants, essentially, helping us do this. The first week or two might be a bit more work as we're sort of starting to shape things up, but once things start to form, your task is really to help make sure we're staying on track. So each group will have um, uh, helpers, um, and those helpers will do a lot of the work that you, don't, you all don't have time for. So pulling in together references, can you go find if there's a, a study about this, et cetera. Um, and, uh, and so yeah, so we have that date. Um, we also have the August 7th uh, date, which is also a, a Zoom a touch base where we will have, everybody will have been working on these, these ideas for a while. And then I wanna bring you guys back and we're gonna talk about the framework. Um, a, more, a more explicit discussion than we, well, we had an explicit discussion, but, but um, we will have um, some more straw men type of things, something we can more easily pick apart, et cetera. Um, and we want to get your, your feedback on that uh, on August 7th. Um, August 1st, we still have the draft, uh, the, the draft of whatever you're working on so that we can, we can take a look at it. Uh, September 1st is the deadline for the, the revised version of whatever we pull together over the course of the summer. Um, and, uh, and I should say between the 1st and the, the start of August, the start of September, uh, Brent and Rich and I will give everybody feedback on that first draft. Like, oh, hey, maybe the, you, Maybe we need this component going on or that component or whatever. Uh, and then um, again, September 27th, back here in Oxnard, we'll have another day-long meeting. And this, is, this will be a, a long day, right? Because we're just doing one day. So um, if you are coming from afar, please plan on arriving on the 26th so we can uh, start. Um, again, we'll do the same thing. We'll have dinner nearby and all that kind of good stuff, but, but just one day, but it will be a full day. 
Um, and that should take us through. Uh, Brenton, Rich, and I might need to, you know, probably need to spend some more time cleaning stuff up, et cetera. But, but th that's the main uh, task for this phase one um, uh, as we're envisioning it. Uh, again, everybody is welcome to continue to participate once we get through this first bolus, you know, on into fall if you're interested and, and, and have a facility and, and the, the space to work on some of the um, application, the next phase, which is try to apply our guidance in a specific context. But by no means do we expect any of you to continue on. We'd love to have people continue to work, but, but, um, but even though the grant's going on, we're, we here are, the, are phase one of that grant. Um, so I think, I think it's great. I think I, 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 I'm just, I can't tell, I can't express to you how excited I am to one, not be chair and have time to work on this, and two, to finally be able to sink my teeth into the summer in a real way um, that I've not been able to for the last two and a half years. We've been waiting for funding and all that kind of stuff to come around. Um, so I'm very appreciative. I know Rich and Brenton are very appreciative, and, and this has just been uh, very fun. Um, I, I, I like everybody here outside of mitigation. Uh, and so it's, it's fun to hang out with you guys, but I think it's also uh, it's great to sort of um, uh, coming from the administrative teaching world all day long to be able to start to sink my head into some of these big ideas that, that I think are so interesting and so important. Um, Rich. Uh, just to, so, yes, thank you all. And I think it was a super successful workshop for us. Two uh, comments that just came up recently. One is, uh, we haven't really told you, we haven't figured out the overall structure of this report, but there'll be some introductory material. Mm -hmm. And so for sure, some things will have to go into that introductory material. Um, Spencer was just raising some issues as he started to go through the functions theme that made us realize that there's those issues are really things that we probably have to deal with in the introduction, like what really is in-kind versus out-of-kind, right. because it might not actually be the things that you think it is, or, or depends on how you're viewing it. Um, so we will be working on that, and you'll have an opportunity to look at that, but you should be thinking as you go along about those sorts of things. As you start working through your themes, if, if something comes up that you think is a more general issue, or you can't figure out how to make it fit, you can talk to us about it, but you know a lot of those things, I think, will you know, have to feed back into like an overall setting the scene and doing the definitions and things like that. Um, I I was going to make another point, but I don't think I think that's. I think that's part. Part. I no, no, that's okay. That's good. So who evaluates this ultimately? I mean, you guys are getting paid, <laughs> right, to, to create this. Well, it's thing. a grant. It's a grant, so um, nobody. We have a report. Made, we have a report. Yeah, we have a we have a contractual obligation to produce a report. But nobody's going to say, your report's not good enough, give us the money back. <laughs> so really, the whole motivation for this is... Is that an option? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not an option. It's never an option. <laughs> so, so the whole, but the whole motivation, the only reason we're doing this is because we want to do something that is actually going to be useful. Helpful. Yeah, sure. Helpful. And, and there are two agencies, right? I mean, yeah. So those are that's our target audience. And so that's why we have agencies right now to help make sure that that's then we're hoping to continue that involvement all the way through but in the end you know what it's only going to be as useful as it moves the you know the activity forward and, and helps bring clarity or helps provide some framework or structure or something and so Ultimately, it'll be, you know, in a few years after we're done, the agency is saying, well, that was a boondoggle, or wow, that, you know, that report helped us, or something like that. So that's, you know, that's the judgment that we're going to have. Yeah. So I don't know who from what agency, but the, the grant idea came about. So the ideas for what the three, three themes of the grants were, were generated by agencies. Yes, but by visits to everybody. Yeah, and you went around and asked what you need. Partly yeah. us, yeah. yes, yeah. mission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I knew you guys were part of the exposure to our people wise. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, well thanks definitely. <laughs> yeah. And so and so that's why, you know, we're super interested in getting your input on this all along because the whole idea is to well, I mean, we don't want to just go off on some completely useless tangent, but I don't think we would have done that anyway, but we want to try to make it as useful as yeah. possible. And so that, you know, in the end, these last meetings that we have. You know, like once the final report is together, we, you know, we want to get that feedback, and that's why we're also asking, you know, shop it around in your agencies and yeah. see if other people have yeah. other suggestions, so that 
eventually that recording is as useful as it can be. Now you can market it, you could say, help out rebuild. Okay. Make sure rebuild. And so, <laughs> and, but, and then the other thing, Sean mentioned this before, but you know, we also would like to publish something sure. or things from this because, um, well, we'll be using things that other people have published to help yeah. support these ideas. And so we want to get whatever we come up with, we want to get it out there. Actually, like what we did for the scientific collecting permit. Yeah, but also right. Right. in the peer review process, we'll get more credibility right. when agencies go use it. Right. Yeah, yeah, totally, completely. And so, so there, there's a, again, a, I just remind you guys of a few other um, related to these sort of ancillary things. But if there's if there's some things that came up that you're like, it would be really neat if we knew this, right? Or or, or this would inspire something. And so one of the things that comes to mind is is the um, GIS of um, out of kind mitigation locations in, in California. There's like, you know, we, one of the things came up said, where, where, where are, are they concentrated in one place? Or the, you know, relatively easy thing, but again, none of us have time to do that. Um, that's a great thing. Um, that's an OPC grant, I can see it coming. <laughs> right, but, but also, but, but also we have, uh, uh, so don't know if that could be done by September 27th, but, no. but, um, uh, that is something that, that uh, some of my students and other things might be able to start to, at least the first draft, tackle. And, and some of that might be at a scale that might be helpful to us. So if there's things like that, oh, I wish we knew, blah, blah, blah. Someone should do an analysis of this or see if we can pull together whatever. In some cases, that might actually make it into our report. But, but um, if it was more ex extensive than that, um, we could still do that over the course of this funding, not this phase, but this funding, that, that might really... Um, help add some clarity on certain things. So we'd love to hear that. And remember, we have money to do, um, uh, to, to do some polling, right? To, to what do people think? So that could be inside agencies. We could just sort of say, hey, you know, what is the biggest, your biggest worry or the biggest problem you've seen with, with um, you know, stuff to date? Or we could do that later on and say, once we have our product, you know, what do you think about this? Is, is this something that the people will buy into or are there clear worries about that? So we have the ability to sort of seek some broader opinion, formally seek some broader opinion before we're done with this entire exercise. And then thirdly, again, we have that website. We have some money to, to pull together a, a, a more um, aesthetically pleasing website. To start with, we're gonna have Google Drive, right? We have, we have just some documents share, shareable with everybody. but. Um, but certainly by the time we get to the end of this phase one, I would like to have at least our first draft of that, of that public facing website so that it's that, that much easier for our agency folks or whomever to just go and click on one link and sort of see the, the pulled together documents, right? They don't need to see maybe the, the draft of stuff we did today, but, 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 but the sort of um, useful stuff, we'd like to be there. And then that, could, that would include maybe some of our little you know, summary lectures or definitions that could include a, a five minute summary of stuff, you know, in, in different formats that would be available. So any ideas you guys have like that as you're doing this, in addition to your, your, um, your documents and your um, individual things, we do have just a, a, a open page, right? An open Google doc. And you can feel free to jot those things that don't exactly fit into your, your uh, a specific purview, your subgroup, and just, oh, it'd be great if we could do this. That's a great place for that. And then lastly, we also, I just put up a new Google Sheet for um, if you guys can think of some other collaborators that, oh my gosh, it'd be great if blah, blah, blah would be great in here. You can jot his or her name in, email address, um, and, and, and that will be helpful. Again, um, uh, Rich and Brent and I, over the interview, uh, a couple weeks between now and June 20th, we will we'll be sort of pulling together the students and all this and that and, and, and have the support for you guys ready uh, for them. Um, yeah, and so as we go through the summer, again, each group will have a, a weekly check-in time. You don't have to use that, but at least our formal student people will know that they have a time they can check in with at least the, the organizer leader person um, uh, every week. Um, but you guys will decide in your particular groups what frequency you're, you're going to um, you know, formally touch base.